Hi everyone. So in this video, let's do a simple exercise using hooks, and it is all about the the events and changing the state. Okay. What we are going to do is uh, let's just wipe this out because we are going to write a functional component again. Okay. Here we have. Let's say we are going to write a counter component. Okay, and we are going to write a simple form where you can increase the value, decrease the value, reset the values, and all. Okay. So our state is will be a simple count, count and set count, and it will be like use state initialize it with zero. It is set count, okay, and we have we have to import use state from. Okay, we can use react dot use state, and then. We are going to write a JSX like what JSX it is going to render. We'll just put div. I mean, we are not going. We are not going to have a fancy classes. It's just like for the basic POC we are doing, basic demo. Okay, here I have three buttons, couple of buttons. What they are doing? They are going to increase the values of the counter, and then I'm going to have a simple input text field. Okay, I have these three buttons, right? What these buttons are doing? We can define these buttons. Okay, const inc. This is a callback function. What it is doing is it is taking the current count and it is increasing the count by one. Count is of type number, and what it is doing? It is giving us the count plus one. Similarly, there is another. Function which is doing count minus one. This is decrement. Okay. So we have defined the callback functions, and this is set count, which is setting up the count with zero. That's it. Okay. So <coughs> let's change the component name. Now here we have input text field. Okay. From there we will be. Sending all these values like uh, there will be input text field. I can just set the input text field. Input type text value is the count. We have and I have this on change event, and we are calling it as a change event. And there is a method. Whenever we are changing the value of this input change, then we are going to set it to number. Okay, so change event we will define the change event here. Whenever you are typing anything inside a text field, that will set to the count. Okay, so this is again a event of type. This is event of type change event. We can get it from the React. React dot change event. That's it, and it is applied on the HTML input element. And what we are doing inside this is we are doing a set count, set count, and it is just applying event dot target dot value e dot target dot value and decrement, reset set to zero. When you click on ninety nine increment. This thing works, right? So simple. Now let's change it to the class-based component, and with the different examples where we are going to have simple HTML form, and we are going to deal with that. Create a simple function, functional component again, but of different type. So here we have a simple function, let's say application, and we are going to have a two-input text field. And we will deal with the change events coming from the input text field. But to manage the values, we are going to define the type user, and this type user will have name is of type string, is is of type number, or it can be also of type null. And then there is a admin, like you are an admin or not. This is of type boolean. Okay, and I'm going to initialize my use state hook based on that only. So const default user. This is of type user, and this is to initialize my default state. Okay, name is empty. 
is is null and admin is true or false whatever and then i can i can use the same type in my use state hook user set user and use state and i can pass default user so my state will be initialized with all these default values and it can be simply react dot use state okay we are clear till now so what we are doing is we are initializing our use state hook with the default value this is the default user now we can write a simple form with the two input text values and one boolean which is setting up admin true or false right so how we typically do it what we will do is we are going to write a simple method simple jsx having these input text fields and we have already done this many times so let me just copy from my example so we are going to put everything inside div sometimes this editor is also a little slow okay now this is the first input text field and we are going to define this own user change and you can see you can have n number of input text fields you cannot we don't want to define every time a dom event like on user change on email change right so what we want to do is we want to define a one consistent or one sim simple method which can take care of changing all these like email password username whatever currently we have a name and age okay so on user change here it is sending age and we are just converting this to the number okay now we are going to define this on user change method this is again a same dom events like on change is uh, sending the event and this event is of type if we just define it react dot change event and it is applied on HTML input element but that is awesome you don't need to worry about this now okay now we need to define this on user change because there is a single method and it is taking type as an input so based on the type we can decide which property we have to change okay const user change and now here we are going to use a little bit of typescript okay what this own user change is doing this is taking a callback function right and what we are going to get here we are going to get the type property and value so this is the property and this is the value right this is what we are receiving from the own user change but we don't know the type of name so if you see the name properties of type string age is of type number and null admin is of type true so how can we see how can we validate the type also with the name in this own user change because this is a common method right so here we have to use some typescript tactics p extends key of key of user because all these are type the type of the user and now the prop which is of type p and value which is of type user p i will explain this in text what we are doing here so here we are saying if the key is coming as a name then it should be of type string if key is coming as an age then it should be of type number and how can we make sure that this is how we can make sure it by defining the the p as a generic p is extend of key of prop is p and the value should be of type the same user p if the the p is let's say uh, the name then the value should be of type string then what we'll do is we'll just do the set user we can call the set user method directly in the dom events but we wanted to i wanted to show this typings and what we are saying is this is my current user okay and i don't know like you are changing the name or you are changing the age so i will dynamically set it prop and this is the value right this is how we can write a single method for all different html input different forms right and 
dynamically we are setting the key and the value of it right this we do in the without typescript also like set user user and the prop inside an array and then value that means whatever the dynamic key we are setting the name age and all that will get set okay uh, it should be name age and if the age is not coming then it is empty and then there is a one more we have is that is for checkbox like you are admin or not so that also we are going to do is input type checkbox it will be a little different input type checkbox where we are doing on change and here we are setting passing admin and the property we are sending is user.admin because we are just toggling the web that if you click on to the checkbox that means we are sending true we are sending the false and this is user.admin initially this is true so this will come as a check and export default application and for the checkbox it should not be the value it should be checked I forgot to mention that now okay this is a checkbox user.admin initial value is true then it will come as checked when you click on to this you can see this this is your name this is your age and this is okay a simple example but talks about lot of concepts of the typescript and the, the event binding right all the DOM events are handled through a single method here and we even defined the custom types for your current state like this is the type user we initialize the default state and this is now user user is dot name is empty user dot is is null user dot admin is true initially okay i hope you like it so these are these type of examples we will keep covering because sometimes it is a little bit tricky to define the typings where you have where you have a different key and value inside an object okay thanks everyone